Tune in, tune in, tune in. <laughs> yeah. You hear me now? Yeah. That one you're uncensored. Sensor. Anywhere in the world it's uncensored. Pure music, news, Sensor. interviews, Sensor. and the topic uncensored. Sensor. Everybody does a love this real bad. We go all out. We go all out and done. We go all out. We go all out and done. We go all out. We go all out and done. Party till night come down. Here what we go all out. We go all out and done. We go all out. We go all out and done. We go all out. We go all out and done. Party till night come down. How we dig all them a few? I'm giving up interview. I only leave for them not a few. Every step in I'm a show. It's something new. Them calling them friends and them crew. Earlier up, that when I run with life I roll taxi. It and sense and call the paparazzi And it up in your face like acne Not even stop sign, yeah, stop me Blow on your hands and sense Anywhere in the world it's Hi, and thank you for joining us on another edition of Uncensored I'm your host Black Barbie And I'm here with my beautiful panel of hosts Shandy, Michelle, and Mackenzie And this is Uncensored This is the Social Circle brought to you by Runaway The Salon Inc. We're going to talk about something that happened over the carnival break, which took place in Trinidad and Tobago. And I'm talking about the incident that happened with Asami Nagayaki. This is the Japanese panist who went to Trinidad for carnival. She's a well-known panist that actually goes every year. It just so happened this was her first time playing mass in Trinidad. Unfortunately, she was strangled to death and possibly raped as well. So they, they found her with lacerations in back of the Queen's Park Savannah, that's where they have to jump up, that takes place. It's two judging points, but that's one of the main judging points. Um, it's still sketchy as to what really happened. They have one of her persons of interest, which is a, a significant other. They have them in interest right now in, in lockup. You know, I think this whole situation is really sad. Yes. Um, what makes it even worse, I don't know if you guys are all aware of the mayor of that town, mm -hmm. his response to mm -hmm. this death. Um, his response, response has been very cold. I, I, I don't know. know. Well, the woman, <laughs> yeah. I have here, the woman has a responsibility to ensure that they are not abused. Are you serious? So I guess you he know, was supposed to be able to control the He was, he was pretty much, okay, so for Trinidad Carnival, it's kind of like Brazil Carnival where they have the costumes. Some are skimpy, some aren't. So what he's saying, they found her with her Carnival costume on, which in this case, it was a two-piece. It was a bra and panty, and she was... But is that something new yeah. to the Trinidadian yeah. culture? Like, is Art that is what nothing. you wear? Is carnival. So, yeah, that's carnival. No, that's, that's, that's the you carnival know, wear. The sad part of it, about it is victim shaming. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, whenever yeah. someone is a victim of any type of crime, when you then turn to the victim yes. to want to blame them, yes. I believe it's a really I say shame, shame on you, issue. Mayor. Yes. Shame on you for saying that because <laughs> she's not she's wearing what she's supposed to wear. A costume. A costume. A costume. So, I mean, men is supposed to know how to have control right. of themselves. And, and we know women could be dressed, or men who have been raped. You can be dressed with a turtleneck. And if see. the rapist comes to you and this happens, do you then blame that person who wears a turtleneck? So he is really saying because she had on this skimpy outfit, it mm. is her fault. And there was actually a petition out to get him and, out. And but I'll sign. the prime minister <laughs> voted against it. So he's staying there, but he's trying to switch it up and fix it up to make it seem like, you know, you guys are taking it out of context. You, yeah, well, how you, can't, you can't take that out of context. Yeah. You can't. You really yeah, can't. No he's going to have to no address the public did, and apologize. I, I want to say that he did apologize. He did mm -hmm. apologize, but within his apology, it was still a little like he's not sketchy. Like, mm -hmm. I'm apologizing just because. I'm they apologizing told me, you know. because I have to. Yes, <laughs> that's it. But it and wasn't sincere it. and it wasn't from the heart. But, yeah. you know, this type of things happen over and over every day. Why should someone be victimized by the perpetrator and then be victimized by society? Yes. I should be able to wear whatever I want to wear, wherever I want to wear it, and that shouldn't make me become a victim. Exactly. The first time I heard it, I felt, you know, it, it's shameful for the culture because mm. we all know Japanese culture, the older heads, the, the, the 
elders tend to frown upon Caribbean culture, whether it be Pasa Pasa, Soka, they frown on it. If it's not their culture, they're not for it. Yeah. So to hear that she came all the way from Japan to Trinidad to participate in a festival that she loved so much and to have all this bad publicity on the carnival itself, it's shaming. It, 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 it hurts. It really hurts. And, and you know what is going to happen? And I, I'm believing if they can look at next year and look at statistics and see the numbers of people from Japan, wh which will have been lowered from mm -hmm. this incident. So Trinidad as a whole is going to lose from this. But it would, really I don't sad. think it would be people from Japan alone. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah. A lot. Yeah. Because another incident also occurred. I don't know if you guys know about it. Um, there was an incident where another masquerade was trying to enter into a band. So let's just say coming down the street was Tribe. For instance, in this case, it was actually Yuma. Mm -hmm. The masquerader was from Island People, and he was trying to enter the band Yuma. Security came, and they pretty much beat him down, so he couldn't get into the band. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole video footage of the mm -hmm. incident, mm -hmm. which is pretty sad. And somebody said they came in to visit to Trinidad. This is the first time coming for Carnival, and to see the violence occur, it turned them off, and they said they don't think they'll go back. That was mm -hmm. their first and possibly last time. So that's pretty sad. Yes, yeah, so it's definitely a bad experience. And my and condolences go out to the family, of mm -hmm. course, of this beautiful definitely. Japanese young lady. And it's, it's a sad situation. But, you know, I hope that things get better and the governor, you know, own up to some responsibility in some way. The and mayor. not, the mayor. The mayor. yeah, the mayor, yes. not let, you know, it, it be said that, you know, what you wear is okay for them to be victimized. But we're going to go right along and we're going to get into uh, Usain Bolt coming under scrutiny. He has been experiencing classism and racism at the same time in his own island of Jamaica. What do you guys feel about Tell that? Tell me what's going on. I think I'm lost on this one. What's going on with Usain Bolt? Well, why are all <laughs> course, you know, coming into his stardom, he is uh, the fastest man alive yes. right now. Of course, we have to give him his credit. Yes. But uh, in Jamaica, you know, there's social classes that they feel like you have to earn your way to be in certain areas if you're going to live in the Beverly Hills of Not Jamaica. Not earn your way. You earn it have, with you work born in. in. No, you have to work born in. in. You be born, born into in. it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Not earned your way. Yes. Because he earned, earned his way in. Well, well, they would like for you to actually earn it too, meaning that you work for it. Like you go have a nine to five, you have the education and okay. you have your placement. So they want you to earn it in that that's aspect it. than just like, you know, being an athlete. And that's the situation that he basically faced. So who are the people that are the scrutiny? Where is it coming from? Well, you call them the upper class. <laughs> <laughs> people of course okay. because um, he had came into um, confrontation too with Sean Paul's wife who you know didn't like the fact that he had a own neck she's basically her neighbor okay you know and you know as, as like I said he didn't get the right of passage as you'd say you know to his wealth so wow. therefore they feel like he's wow. not place he's not at the right place and he shouldn't live where he lived because again he's not from the affluent family well he actually started experiencing it before that because mm -hmm. there's actually an article where he said i was living in a complex and i had issue with few light skin and i'm just repeating okay <laughs> Don't, it's not my word people and he happened to live near an attorney well, here in the U.S. we say an attorney, in Jamaica they say lawyer. lawyer. And when he moved in, the first thing the attorney said to him is, be careful. These yeah. people don't like seeing people like you here. And you would think in this day and age, the 21st century, that this kind of stand would no longer be there. But unfortunately, wow. it still exists. And he wow. said it actually made him go and build his house Fast. quicker. Yeah. Wow. But, which is when he experienced... With the sh yeah, oh, the experience wow. with Sean Holloway. Yeah. But we also know that there's racism. Racism will never go away. And that's basically mm -hmm. what he faced. Because in Jamaica, they have the light skin and the dark skin. If you're light skin, you're accepted and you're better. And if you're dark skin, you're I basically... disagree with that. I, that, I, think I think it's more classism than no, racism. No, no, no. Well, there, there is there's family who actually frown upon their child to go and be with a dark skinned person because they feel like being light skinned is better. So you, you know, know you grew up in Jamaica? Yes, they would definitely look at Shania 
and say, yes, you should yeah. be and with her more really than you're supposed to go and be with somebody of my complexion. Shouts to Jamaica. Yes, but, yeah, but that's, that's, that's the racism yeah. that's yeah. in Jamaica that he was actually started experiencing. From, from slave but, days uh, and it still uh, hasn't shaken. Yes. Yeah. You know, I have you to... You have the in-house slave yeah. and the outsourcing. I have to defer on that because I happen to be a product of a dark skin and a light skin. Well, we never say that they don't mesh. You We're know? just saying that it's not accepted as much. And it's been a part of the Jamaican culture for many years. And it has yet to change. So, and that's the reason why they said, even in America, they say, like, no, much, no matter how much money you get, right. mm -hmm. that you will never be accepted by the Caucasian people. And that's just the same thing in Jamaica. Only thing is just light skin and oh, dark skin. Oh, Lord, I feel my blood you pressure can... going this way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the truth. truth. It's, it's the truth. truth. It's the truth. When you talk about even uh, Asian nations, I'm going to pick India. Mm. Mm. You sit, talk to people from India, and they will tell you if you are darker oh. skin, well, yeah, that's the big one. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just racism in yeah. the world. No, 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 no. Okay, I Second. can't speak for India. Mm -hmm. But I don't, just don't think we should generalize because not all Caucasian thinks that way and not all light-skinned people think that way. Yes, there is a percentage, but, that's you know, yeah. no, we, we there, are, yeah, are, but, you know, I just don't like personally. But, but, that, but that's based, based on our topic, talking about you mm -hmm. saying, well, that's, that's what he experienced. And the that issue. was a problem of his okay. skin color. And that is a, still an issue so, in so Jamaica. Because okay. I have dated a guy before, and he was telling me, because of my skin color, his mom probably wouldn't be accepting to it, and therefore the relationship so what didn't did, go any further. And he's Jamaican, say, I'm Jamaican. Oh my God. What did he do? What did he do when he all this? He built his house. house. Yeah, he, he built his house. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you know, with this whole mixture story, I want to talk about Shauna Chin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, but what's Shauna Chin? The you know, Shana, can I, before we go further, let's <laughs> just say this. With Shauna Chin, I have to say, I had so much respect for her with the whole gully bop incident. I was with the padlock scene. I was all for it. But you see, after reading this whole thing with the Shauna Chin, the real Shauna Chin versus Chin Chin, Chin Chin, come on, you're a real opportunist. I, I have to say this one. You are a true, a bright opportunist, as I call you. So we call her Chin Chin? Or she no, that's her name. No, that's, that's her new name, Chin Chin. You cannot call her Shauna Chin anymore because the other name is copywritten by the Act she's an actress, actress right? yes. she's an she actress. came on criminal yeah. lines here in so the she copyright her name and so therefore miss chin 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 gully bop woman shauna chin. Use shauna chin anymore but i like her story I like, I like her story she said you know which is true i've, I've heard within the culture that you guys use different names. Yeah, nicknames. Name. Name. Yeah, which name. I get it, but the yeah. nicknames I never understood. No. Sometimes the nicknames be far-fetched. Yeah. Every Chinese man is chin. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're doing in Jamaica. Yeah, you always have that chin on the end. And I think because she has uh, Chinese, Chinese, Chinese in said, her family, yeah. that nickname, but her real name, her middle name is Shauna. So you mm -hmm. can understand how she had that name at a young okay. age, but you, Shauna Chin. But you see, the thing is this, in the articles that I read, she was aware of the situation because this is quite 2010. This is now 2016, Gully Bop Bus in 2015, 2016. So she knew what she was doing. She knew if I take this name, I can rise to fame along with Gully Bop in my side I pocket. I don't think so. I don't think faster. so. No, I, I don't think so, so because that was her name while she was working with the Gaza camp. That that was her name to people in the industry. It was always Shauna Chin. It's not, I'm turning Shauna Chin now because I'm with Gully Bop. No, she always been Shauna Chin. However, I just feel like the actress, I commend you because you are representing, you know, the Caribbean industry on a major platform by coming into criminal mind but i feel like her approach now is a little bit late when shauna chin the name is being mm -hmm. dragged through the mud now but she, she, she wants she to be her own name since 2010 though yeah, so. but yes, but she, but she never approached no, shauna but chin and asked her because, to not have but the because prior to now it didn't defame her exactly so now, so now that it's defaming it's her, her. Yeah. so you can't get vexed if she want to come out wait, and say look oh, stop using my name no well, you can't you can't <laughs> want her to stop now yeah, using the name yes Remember, we had conversations in the prior episode and uh, and today where we were speaking of the government, government and copyright, yes. and not yes. not not doing these things. Now here we have someone who is doing exactly that and who's standing behind yes. it. Yeah, and but her, her cease and desist.
this is to me again it's coming at a later time when it's gonna be hard for people now to look at Shauna Chin the artist and not see her as Shauna Chin or know as Shauna Chin yeah. than it to be the actress now that is already Shauna Chin so it to me like I said it's a little bit late she said that she is trying to serve Shauna Chin the cease and desist order for the past four months but Shauna Chin been out for many years she's been on the front page of Jamaica well, newspaper no, that, here so why not I disagree because I didn't know not okay I'm speaking for me again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not know anything about Shauna Chin Miss Gulliver until I heard about Gulliver yes. so I wouldn't necessarily say she was at the forefront mm -hmm. you knew about Shauna Chin the actress mm -hmm. and then well, it, it, hold on, mm -hmm. it could be easily confused that it's the same person, person. if she oh, not environment. Mm -hmm. So for somebody like me who doesn't know, I hear the name Shauna Chit, I may assume that it's the it's same the person. But, so but that's as the an actress, I commend her. But did you know the actress Shauna Chin before now? I heard of the name before. Not me. So I I, not me either. I but that's not her. her. That's <laughs> the exact her. 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 But, in, but we, we still have to look at the fact that even though she copyrighted her name, Shauna Chin been in its is Jamaica. She's trying to do everything now in Jamaica, in the media of Jamaica. Shauna Chin, even though you don't know her being here, <laughs> she has been in the circuit and in the Jamaican media for years. I'm not talking to <laughs> her. Talking I, her but that's what it is. No, to me, I think it's too late. People no, will not, not know so, Shauna Chin for Shauna Chin. No, but it's just like, okay, so the people, the artists who are not getting their royalty and reggae, then that means the go Jamaica government should not go out for that because based on what you said recently, you can't talk, you can't have no, but that's what I am saying. I am saying that she should have done this at the very peak of this whole Golibop and Shana Chin to give her the season. This is it's been over years now. No, but it's four months. Four months. four months. How long have Golibop been on? How long have Golibop been traveling the world? How long have Shana Wait, Chin been the girl by his side? How long? Years. No. It's been. It's been over here. Yes, it has been. Yes, it has been. Yes, it has been. Because he performed yeah, on Sting. He performed on Sting. He performed on Sting. They have been performing. So this is what I'm saying. But you are, so you're we just, can, we can you're just trying to do it. that her camp yeah, they just doing their now. research and, and, and finally heard about it and now no, it's well, maybe because the name she's going international maybe the name no, is the name but internationally no, so, and it's, so it's getting issues. because she did say that it's it's ruining her business and so because now when people google the name it's coming That's up that way up. but yeah. I am saying that she should have done it at the very brim of it because it's too late for people to disassociate Shauna Chin as Shauna Chin so Shauna Chin regardless if you go into google search and say Shauna Chin you're going to see the gully pop pop lock this, this, that. So therefore, you cannot change it now. No, you're not. It's you're already not tarnished. Wait, that's what she's. You she's can't. gonna have to copyright another name. No, because you're no, on. No, no. She'll no. actually continue with listen, the name. Listen, listen. No. It's a, it's a copyright name. She could probably change it because she's on the, um, the American media. And right now, if she is trying to make sure that she secure a good, um, what you to call it, like her, her, um, what you call it, like her background or whatever, like whatever is associated her to her, her reputation. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. She's gonna have to change that name because she's on a different level. The name is already tarnished. No, Let no, go no, Shauna okay. Chin, go copyright a different name. No, don't leave it. Keep no, your name. I'm that is your name. That is your name. That is your name. That is your name. It's too late. Every, every, every time, every time <laughs> when they Google Shauna Chin, she's gonna see God. Well, that's for the time. That is for no, time. That is for time. time. It's, and Where in Google, back. In a Where in Google do you back. ever see anything okay. change? <laughs> we are not going to agree Google. to Nothing. disagree. And Nothing. we are loving it's this too right late. now. Shana Chin, change your name. The no. actress. No. Sorry. Chin Chin, get on your way. Get on your way. When we come back, our in-studio guest, international reggae artist, Junia Kelly, will be live in the building, Mr. Love, so nice. And of course, our DJ, Jungle Up, is gonna take it away. Welcome back to Uncensored, the 
amazing Junior Kelly, how are you? I'm good, Black Mom. It's wonderful to be here. And it's so great to see you, you know, come from my part of St. Thomas. Yeah. I'm just so glad to be in your presence right now. Of yes, course, we know you have your big hit single. Mm -hmm. I will call you Mr. Love, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I escaped that. Yeah. No. I mean, like Valentine's Day, even worse. You know? mm. yeah. <laughs> so do you have a love that's so nice right now? Uh, no, since we're no, talking about Valentine's no. Day, I mean, <laughs> why is she saying I'm a lover of love, so um, you know, being in love is, is a wonderful thing and, and it's an experience that everybody needs to who has never experienced that before, trust me. You're in for a surprise of your life, trust me, it's a nice ride. So you you ask that question, if love's so nice, tell me why it hurts so bad. Tell us, uh, why does it hurt so bad? Um well I've been watching and studying, because I've asked that question before, mm -hmm. and um, I've been watching and studying people who are in love, and because when you're doing a song, you, you research. It's, it's a good thing to do, Definitely. you know? Um, so it really wasn't that my experience. It was uh, what I've seen mm -hmm. to others at the time when I wrote a song. But yes, it catch me. And <laughs> 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 Um, but it's a question that I am asking actually, but you turn the question back at me. You know, very cute. I'm still, I'm still looking for I'm still looking for the answer from somebody. I still don't I'm searching. I've been mm. everywhere in the world. Really? Still I think, end up with zero. I think so many of us are searching. Yes. So we can we can agree with that. Exactly. It's one of those questions that are out here and we can't find an answer for it so far. Okay. So why do we say we can't find an answer for it? Okay. Because because I think there is an answer. Oh yeah. Might not necessarily agree with the answer. Share with us, Share with us. Share with us. Because oftentimes mm -hmm. we tend to hurt the ones we love. So I mm -hmm. think that's the reason. And you could correct me if I'm wrong. That may be the basis of the song. So it's I don't know if it's human nature, but. Oftentimes you're in love and then you do something so stupid mm -hmm. to the person that you care so deeply about and then that hurt and devastate that person so much. You see, when I use the, the term, it's actually metaphoric. Yeah. When I say, when I say, <laughs> yeah. If love so nice, why it hurts so bad? Mm -hmm. Speaking of, of, as, of, of love as a person, yes. mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And as, as, as than actually a feeling, mm -hmm. you know, from someone. So. We still don't have the answer to that. But yes, we do hurt the ones we love from mm -hmm. time to time. We don't know why. We don't know because we get used to that individual and we say, sure, we can't get with murder because mm -hmm. them love us uncontrollably or unconditionally. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're still searching. And I'm searching, I'm searching. And when you go up my I call it, no, I call it my love. <laughs> Yes. And get some professors all over the world to answer I, that same question. I refuse to believe what you're saying because I remember when that song came out, I had a very bad breakup. <laughs> <laughs> that song, every note, it made perfect sense. I refuse to believe. <laughs> at that time, at that time, you didn't experience a breakup or a heartache mm -hmm. at that. No. I refuse to believe. You want to give this story? Again? Yes. 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 Story, real quick. I was living in Boston, Massachusetts. I was in a, an apartment being it was winter like now. We had have record breaking snow. Um with couple in the in the uh, double digits in in terms of layers of snow, right? Wow. And um, the apartment I was living in I was on the ninth floor and an individual next door to mine, my apartment, is uh, a guy from the Caribbean. And you know Caribbean people, they smell their room and next door they can't cook. They're, they're, they're well clean, you know that. They can't cook, right? They ask yourself. But he's living there with his lady and I start hearing some commotion outside. So, you know, people look like a keyhole and, and I saw the bridge standing up and two officers beside him. Wow. And he was saying, Listen, we just have a small argument. Right. This is my apartment. And you call the police on me to throw me out and I have to spend 24 hours outside of my own apartment. Yeah. I was sitting there, the snow was falling through the window, I can't see it. And Bob Marley stirred up was playing in a, in, a, in a player that I had and it just came. Wow. If you love wow. so much, that's why it hurts so much. See, now that makes sense. I could hear that story. <laughs> <laughs> that story. It's a true story. <laughs> Unfortunate for them, but good for us. We got yes. great music <laughs> from you because of their situation. Yes, and yes. and that's and that's what I'm here for is to um help you know answer questions that <laughs> you know, we can't, we can't find the answer to. You know. <laughs> 
yeah. and help you to cope with your loss and also yeah. help you to feel better about yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. You know what I was a little bit surprised today? And I may be aging myself. <laughs> 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 no, but when I so I heard the song. Mm -hmm. Somehow in my mind it was two to three years ago. But when I I just mean that's why yeah, I'm saying that right. Yeah. 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 Uh, but when I looked it up and saw that it was from two thousand and one, between nineteen ninety nine and two thousand and one, mm -hmm. I'm like what happened here? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's so current still. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Timeless. Yes. Timeless. Yes. Timeless. Yes. Timeless. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, I, I just wanted to say that, but, you know. Yeah, you, you make a, a solid point. But in doing music, I, um, we do, as, as a writer, as a creator of music, I don't go out saying, oh, I'm going to create timeless songs. Right. You know, that's, not right. how, that's not how you raise the bar, that's not how you change the game. Yes. You, 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 you first start by thinking different being different, mm -hmm. thinking outside of the box, creating and doing stuff that people in the music find impossible. Yes. And then yes. you will end up with timeless classics. Yes. So with that thought, mm -hmm. what do you think about the music today? Mm -hmm. Because there's not a lot of music that we could actually listen, um, listen to so, or even say it's in the same category. In terms of what? Break it down and okay. Think it <laughs> okay, I may be not the right person to break. <laughs> Because when it comes to current music, I guess because nothing stays in my head like this song. Mm -hmm. It's like I hear it today, it's gone tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It means nothing. Wow. I'm just being honest. It means nothing. So it doesn't hold me, it doesn't mm -hmm. captivate me. Mm -hmm. So I might be speaking for the older crowd. No, but no. <laughs> so so you, you want to find out what's the difference between the then and, and the now? Yes, yes, and why it is that we can't have more of the then in the now. <laughs> Yes. Okay, it's, it's, it is simple. Um, it's, but it's, it's simple, but it's more than just Complex. one aspect of mm -hmm. the deterioration of the product itself. Okay. Um, the deterioration of the product definitely going to lead to a deterioration of the genre, yes. right? <laughs> um, producers demanding quality as a producer, it's your label uncensored, your label, right? Mm -hmm. You demand quality from the individual you want a song from, right? You're paying him an advance, he or she an advance. You demand quality because you, if, you, if you're not, if he, he, he's going to be representing you on your label with his, with his product, you're meeting each other halfway. Mm -hmm. So you as a person who is the executive producer, who is your label on the line, your reputation on the line, you have to demand quality from that artist. So if, yes. if, if you want a song from him, right, and he's in demand, if he's going to give you a, a song that you don't know, really think about a lot, and just because his name is ringing out there, he just wants to say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and people will buy it, yeah. that's not good enough. Right. Not good enough for you as a producer of good quality music, which your label stand the test of time. And if you want it to stand the test of time, you have to tell him, listen, I want better, a better song from you. Come again. It's not like you're turning him down, you know. Right, again, let me see what else you have. Don't just grab the first song and say, yes, I'm the man now, or she's the woman. I, this is the song, people are just going to buy it. You're actually deteriorating the music that with it. I know the artist aspect. But really value himself and value himself as a, as, a, as a force to be reckoned with in the industry and say, listen, I have boundaries I won't cross. I have, I have my reputation. For, for uphold, and I am going to set my standard, and my standard is quality. Quality within my lyrical content, quality with my harmonies, with my melodies. All of that play a critical, critical, critical part in making the music what it is, and when you can make the difference between the then and the now. Mm -hmm. But then we spend a lot of time writing, uh, listen, I rewrite a song, and I will go over it back a hundred times change a line change this line because i want that sound to be perfect because once it's out it's out mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. and, and, and so a lot of artists don't really and managers too well if you if you believe in the artist because a, a manager should believe in, in the artist and because you're you're going to represent the artist you know you're going to speak on behalf of the artist so mm -hmm. 
And, and uh, I mean, it's another aspect too, not just the recording part of it. How you approach an interview, how you handle yourself in an yes. interview. Yes. You have to be politically correct. Yes. You have to know what to say and how to answer questions. A lot of artists don't, no. do not know to handle interviews. Yes. So, the, so managers, meetful, have an eye upon that because if the artist is great, a potentially great, he's going to, he or she is going to need to know how to address their self on an interview. I've noticed that you have been tagged as a conscious you really artist. Mackenzie, you sure? <laughs> really, really, really. Well, I'm flattered. That's a, that's a, a good, um, you know, position to be in, and it's a, it's a, it's a respectable place to be. Um, and, and, and I wear that badge proudly. Why? Because, um, whether we like it or not, if we're in the public eye long enough, people are going to see us as role models, whether we want to be or not. You know, mm -hmm. and we have a responsibility when we are in front of a camera or, or, or on tape, you know. And it's, it, to be this way, it's easy for me because it's, it, 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 it wasn't under no advice from any producer or manager. So listen, Kelly, you got to be politically correct. You got to be a role model. No. All of this is coming from my mother and my father back in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. You know, the teaching from the 70s come up, all of it is still with me, you know, and it, it serves as a compass, morally and otherwise, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I want to tell you, my gold record and my platinum record and my Grammy nomination and my Grammy um, award, if I am to ever get any, peels in comparison mm -hmm. when it comes down to getting a, an email um, on Facebook or any one of those medium that, um, that I have in, I'm in control of. And somebody said to me, um, Kelly, actually this happened, a lady from Canada, she's my Facebook friend, a long time ago. She said to me, Kelly, your son smile saved my son's life. And I said, how so? She said, back when he was 13, he had a bully at school that continuously picked on him and never want to go to school, you know, really, really teared on you in every single way. She found out and she played Smile every morning before school for wow. one year. Wow. And she said, no, he's 19 and you saved my son's life. Said, awesome, wow. And that awesome. for me is my gold record, my platinum record, yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's my Grammy. No, that's, that's what I am in the business for. Purpose. It's, yeah. to, it's to change lives for the best, for the better, yeah. you understand? Mm -hmm. And just like giving something physically to somebody who in need of it, whether it's food, water, anything like that. Because trust me, yes. I've been to mm -hmm. places where that is essential. Mm -hmm. Not only essential for Bobby, Black Bobby for the day, that is gold for them. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the goal for them to just get a, a glass of water. water. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And giving, when I'm giving, it's, it's like it's the happiest time in my life. Know that actually I could give. Mm -hmm. I can give. Mm -hmm. And you made an impact yeah. on somebody's life. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing with the music. Is I'm in the service of sharing and giving. I'm in the service of giving what I have gotten from the Almighty to people, you know, mm -hmm. to the rest of the world. So it is humbling and it, it's not just coming from no advice from no promoter, producer, our manager. It's so coming from the way back. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice. You know? As I said, from nice. mother and your father. Yes. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful, because yeah. our, our youth really need that. Oh, they need guidance. Really, really. you know, really. So I don't know. It make it sound as if I'm not Go ahead. Yeah. Me, Michelle. Um, it make it make it sounds as if we're really old. You know, no, old you people. Know. We don't we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We were born at the pressure of the two eras. Yes. yes. And I'm happy that. So great. I, you know, yeah. We're one foot and in one era and yes. another yes. and yes. the other. So we, 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 have, we got the best of that world and now we're witnessing mm -hmm. the worst of this time. Yes. You know? What, what do you do to remain current in a youth's life? What mm -hmm. have you been doing? Now? Well, I have a charity organization called PHP, People Helping People. And uh, what we do is on Saturdays and Sundays, me and a cousin of mine, William Foster, we, we have this, um, well, it's, uh, it first started with our own people, homeless people and, and destitute people and mm -hmm. people on some mine from Afri to Crossroads to Kingston, Jamaica. These are three areas, major mm -hmm. areas mm -hmm. in King, that make up Kingston. Mm -hmm. We go around and we give food to, to awesome. homeless people. We'll cook and load up our vehicle and give juice, free juice and food. 
when I have enough food to give up. Oh, wow. That, that is awesome. awesome. That is beautiful. Because yeah. I recently went to Jamaica. I just came back last week. And that was actually, um, I was in Kingston, in the mm -hmm. Kingston area. And I kept walking around. And I just kept seeing like a lot of homeless people. And I keep giving money. But well, I was with my daughter. So I was, you know, showing her that, you know, we have to give back. And I decided that I wanted to start a charity as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, to come back to Jamaica. Well, and I'm glad to hear that you're doing that. Yes, I'm doing And you know, a lot of people that are in my line of work, you know, that have started no from nowhere and then reached success, think that you know it's 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 an obligation to give back. No, no. it's a pleasure, pleasure. to yes. give back. Yes. Yes. You make yes. it seems like you know the term giving back when you attach it to somebody who is successful. It's like the the, the the rest of the world is expecting. Right. We shouldn't expect. They should just do. Yeah. Yes. It comes natural. It's supposed to be right. Yes. You know. So um, for me to do that, it's it, it even start from before any fame or anything like that. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So of course you have another single that I love, but that went big as well. Missing you, yeah. of course, featuring Barbie. Yeah. I, I don't know for some reason. Because do Barbie. something. No. <laughs> well, that's my girl. That's my girl, of course. But no, I, I just love the song because the song is just so phenomenal. I mean, are you still in corresponding with Barbie? Yes, yes, or yes. planning to do any works that we well, can um, work for? Um, I, I, um, I'm in contact with her on Facebook. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't gotten a number. I've sent a few messages because um, we did good work together. Before. Yes. Wonderful works. And, and I, I think that if it's if, if it's nice once we can do it twice. twice. Yes, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. And people are expecting that. You know? Barbie, I'm gonna give you a number. Yeah. All right, don't be mad. <laughs> and, and people are expecting that. Uh, when when I was when I was approached to do that song, you want to hear a little about that song? Mm -hmm. it was, it was, of um, course, we did. In no time. <laughs> well, I was approached by a friend of mine, and he told me about her and how much she's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I said, okay, I want to meet her. <laughs> Line up the thing and then give me the rhythm and say, um, how long you can take to do this song? And I said, and he was speaking in terms of money and I said, no, no, I don't do that. I have to feel a vibe first. first yes. mm -hmm. So give me the rhythm and, um, and he said, come when you're ready. Five minutes time, I said, I like it. Where can I meet you? And he said, could you meet me this evening at five? And I'm say, all right, I want to this evening at five. Said, here's the song, her part and mine. Wow. Wow. And yeah, the rest is history. We went in the studio, we did it, and we did a wonderful video. Yes. And it was actually one of those videos in Jamaica that set a new standard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because it was well scripted. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Definitely. So yeah. I know that you're here, of course, in the States, and it's really cold. Uh, but do you have like <laughs> you know, any upcoming shows that you know your fans could definitely be on the lookout for? Well, um, at the end of this month, I'm going to Dubai. I have one appearance there, and then wow. I'm going to go from Dubai <laughs> to, to um, Europe starting my um, uh, winter tour. A winter, the Ratatam, mm -hmm. the Ratatam mm -hmm. winter tour, and then come back. And by then, my um, my work permit will be finished for the United States. <laughs> 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 and, and, and I am um, doing shows in Texas, um, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas. I'm doing um, mm -hmm. Reggae and the River this year mm -hmm. so oh um, let's look out for me one of the things is why i'm not doing a lot of appearances in, mm -hmm. in the united states is because you know it's a first come first serve basis yes. because mm -hmm. booking agencies they are doing their job and if somebody from the states want a date and the date is already taken mm -hmm. I, I can't. Not, not oh, yeah, yeah. I must yeah. say, I am so jealous <laughs> when I look at footage from Budapest yeah. and Vienna mm -hmm. and see the crowds and the sea of people loving your music. And these people, many of them, their first language definitely mm -hmm. isn't English, no, it's not. but they know your words yes. to your song. And how does that it's make flattery. you feel? That, um, it's amazing um, when different age groups walk up to you and speaking to you in part what you know yeah. <laughs> their, their second language is broken english they learn to speak english by listening to Just our music, music. Yes. you know how powerful that is oh and that's why we gosh. cannot take those things for granted right. oh and that's gosh. why we need to keep more of the den in the no. town <laughs> and that's my job you know yes. because i i am relevant in the music in terms of the, the direction it it should be going mm -hmm. and 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 
Our relevance, it, it comes in various different forms as an artist. Mm -hmm. Now people think that if you don't have a lot of some playing on the radio, you're, you're not relevant. Right. You're relevant yeah. in terms of the direction. If you are influential, you, yes. you, you can influence individuals within the business so the business is shaped properly. Exactly. Because if you are singing and your language is English, that means you're selling a product to the English speaking mm -hmm. public, mm -hmm. English speaking world. Mm -hmm. And if you are going to do it in such a way that half of the English speaking world do not understand, <laughs> your record sale is going to drop. Drop, yes. Right? Yes. So we know what is at stake here. Mm -hmm. And I, my, one of my jobs, apart from you know, taking care of myself and pushing my music and being the best junior killer I can be is also to make sure that the music has some vanguard individuals who are watching the direction and will step in and intervene to redirect the music for the greater good of everybody. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. So my next question is... <laughs> uh, Jacula, mm -hmm. Barris Hammond, mm -hmm. Sizzler, uh, Vibes Cartel, could you see yourself working with these people in the near future? Seeing that a lot of people, a lot of youths, maybe not Barris, but I love Barris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But can you see yourself working with these artists in the near future? But before you answer the question, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to work with Vibes Cartel. <laughs> Come on, Vibes Cartel still is still in the We have hope in you, Vibes. In and now he's still in the same Um, of course, Barry's more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. I know. First. Yes. Um, if you know, like, you know, the NFL, the first draft pick. And yes. NBA, <laughs> yes. So, yes. So, 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 yeah, so my first draft pick would be Barry's. Um, why? I grew up listening to Barry's. One dance can do the whole works, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and it, it helped to shape and mold me in the artist I am also, you know. Mm -hmm. And it is another thing with being an artist, yeah, and Jackie or two. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not in the business of judging people mm -hmm. um, because I myself is an artist and a human being, you know. I'm prone to mistakes. Why I, I, I keep my mistakes at a very minimum <laughs> and in a major is because I'm not upbringing again. Right. Okay. Okay. I so I'm up. Exactly. You're wrong with the wrong curl. Exactly. <laughs> but apart from that, of course, mm -hmm. I would glad to work with um, any of those individuals. They are my co workers, we're in the same line of business. As long yeah. as the lyrics. Of course not. Of course not. I said I, I said earlier I have my boundaries. There's yes, right. my principles and, and lines that I will not cross. Yeah. But I, I want to actually go back to something that you mentioned, Froka. You were saying that you know if you you're selling your music to basically the English world, yeah. um, that you're supposed to basically speak it properly. But to me, I think a lot of our Jamaican music that became great hits is with the bad rock patois. No. And I feel like once they You're change right. and try to be more, as we call it, the American nice I mean, in the music, I'm glad. you know, it, it, it kind of washes it out. No, <laughs> it has nothing to do with the English in terms of speaking it perfectly, right. all the grammars and the rap. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. For instance, clarity. It doesn't matter if you're talking raw patwa or you're speaking perfect Queen's English. Mm -hmm. If we can recognize what you're saying, what you're saying that means clarity. Mm -hmm. you're, you're coming through, but we're not clearly hearing. Mm -hmm. If we clearly hear, that means that, all right, for instance, you like it raw, all of us like it raw. So the point <laughs> of me is right in terms of the lyrical content <laughs> within music mm -hmm. from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. um, but if I do not, if I would love to love this music as a person who doesn't understand broken English, let's say I'm a potential buyer of the music and a potential fan from somewhere in the world. Mm -hmm. um, if I am listening to the music, I should be asking somebody, a friend of mine, who know the slams and the terminology, mm -hmm. what, what that slam mean, right. but not what, what is he saying? Yes. Yes. It's a yes. big difference. Yes. I, 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 so when I ask you who is a novice to the slams and the terminologies, what did he meant when he said that? Yes. You're supposed to can tell me what that word mean. Mm -hmm. Sorry, when I ask what does that word mean? Right. Yeah. And me, you, you have to say to me, I say it back or your ear. Throw me calm in a car and follow. Right. And you, you explain to him what, what he said back to you the same way. Yes. But when the individual said, 
I don't even know. I don't. <laughs> what, what is he saying now? That's a big deal. That's a big deal. And that will cut anybody records here. Mm -hmm. We're selling a product and we're representing a genre. So we have to mindful of those things. So I, I know I have traveled to Jamaica probably about eight times. My mm -hmm. family is Guyanese and I go to Jamaica and there are some places where I can understand, like you're saying, and there are other places where I'm like, hey girl, what did he just say? You know, so I understand exactly with the music mm -hmm. what you're talking about. And what, but I'm not saying anybody, like Bobby, I'm not really saying anybody should change their approach and with, with our language that everybody loves around the world because it's exotic. I've it's been to places that I'm yes. mm -hmm. Barack Obama came to our country and said, one, one, massive. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm not saying you should change anything. Yeah. 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 Everybody around the world will know what massive means. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. all right, so tell us, what is the latest single that you're actually working on right now or pushing? Well, I'm um, working on an entire album and it's mm -hmm. actually finished. It's called um, Urban Poet, it's um, 16 with a bonus track, 17, wonderful, beautiful, beautiful music. I mean, game changing music, but I'm still gonna leave that to the crowd and the audience. But <laughs> it's, it's a real departing because if anybody that follows my music know that, you know, um, I'm not gonna come up with anything that I don't think is not suitable. Mm -hmm. I don't think people are not going to love, you know what I mean? I, I really spend a lot of time really emphasizing on quality and melody and keys and card just to suit my fans and potential fans. So but the singles from the album, um, Urban Poet, is Everybody Needs Somebody, mm -hmm. High Hopes and um, Poetry. <laughs> <laughs> poetry Michelle, 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 no well, you have to do that sometime in life. <laughs> sometimes you don't yes. have to stand yeah. up out here by yourself. But guess yeah. what? All the times when I was doing collaboration is, is actually I did it on, on purpose. Mm -hmm. All the time when I was doing collaboration, it was under a request from somebody saying, you know, this artist needs a Lego. Mm -hmm. Because on, on the collaboration, I'm the artist with a better name, mm -hmm. and a better clothes, and if I end up a product of theirs, it will give them a, a push up. You and know? that's very good. Mm -hmm. No, that's very good. I no, love to do that. Good. And um, this time around, I said, if I'm going to do a collaboration with somebody that can give me a little. We know that we here at Uncensored are keeping our eyes on you. Yes, we are. are. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have a little curiosity question because I did a little research. Mm -hmm. Which I don't often do. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. <laughs> but I found out that you had a life changing accident back in 2001. Mm -hmm. Can you speak a little bit to, uh, to that? Yeah, it was an auto body experience as, as, as such. And uh, maybe it is because even after leaving the um, hospital, the individual, where I, when I saw them in the street and they were walking up to me, I said, I know this person, you know. And he was looking at me and coming right to me and I said, you're one of those guys who pulled me out of the vehicle. And he said, yes. Oh, you know, you were unconscious. So maybe, wow. just maybe, mm -hmm. I had a slight out of body experience and was mm -hmm. watching everybody. Because he said, listen, you're unconscious. Oh, you know that I was standing over you helping you. Real thing. It wow. really happened. Yeah. Yes, well, the life-changing experience that I had came from the accident. It humbles me. Um, it's not like I wasn't humbled before, it's, mm -hmm. it's just that... You get a reality check. Yeah, and it make every little thing start to make more sense. Mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and every little thing... No, Means more. Yes. <laughs> every, you, when you, once upon a time, you're driving down the road, or somebody driving you, and you're looking at the beautiful landscape, and the, mm -hmm. the mountains, and, and you're looking down the valley and the river. Wow. You would blame sit and say, well, one, but no, you think, wow. 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 You know, it's been more time appreciating colors, animals, life, light, plants. you know, plants, everything. Every experience in life is yes. just awesome. And, and every moment comes, you know, and, True. and I'm trying to make use of every single moment. Nice. Because well, it was like that, I mean, and then I was in an hospital bed, so. Wow. So it's like that, and you can be here and like that, and your life changed, mm -hmm. whether for good or bad. Mm -hmm. So we have to appreciate each other. Learn from each other, build each other up, you know? Yeah. Do more building. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 
So of course you said that you haven't what experienced the love. Are we gonna get there at get some, some point love? in this? Yeah, love yeah. life. Yeah. So yeah. Love yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so we, we definitely want Junior Kelly to you know get that love. Since you're you know taking in the ambiance of what's going on in life, mm -hmm. of course we definitely want you to experience it internally. Of course. Yes. That's, that's love is nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My line of work where I'm there, I'm very intimidated by um, others. I'm mm -hmm. like, others are intimidated by me. You intimidated by me? Not yet. 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 They're intimidated by not by me per se, but my line of work. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Like we. Uh, we uh, yes. We know. Stigma to the artist. We know. We know behave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you behave? Mm. I think so. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me tell you why. I've got my fair share of ups and downs and in terms of love and I karma is up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. Like being on the road and being and you know, gone to the hotel room with no group and all of them crap. We don't do that. So, so, we don't do that. Okay, okay. So, good, so we won't see any photos. No. <laughs> no, we don't do that. Don't fall victim. Be very mind, you know, I might fall victim to Photoshop. Oh. Yeah. the new line to say that it's photoshopped mm, and it's not really No, I'm not using it, okay. but a, a, a lot of people out there are scrupulous individual target people like us. Okay. okay. You'll be walking out of a place and then say, no, I'm walking in. in. Okay. But we also know that some people leak their own things because that helps. What yeah. do you think about that? No, that's, I, I, that's, that's not me. I won't do that. Why I won't do that? Because them say controversy sell so and yes. And when you, as an artist, I've heard managers say this to artists, you know, six months and, and no, nothing in the paper for you, nothing in the news. Why don't you just, you know, go 30 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour and just run your, run your car up against, against a wall, just bruise the wall and come out and hold your hand by your head and we send the cameraman down there, come take some wow. picture, wow. you know, the paper. Wow. That's publicity. Yeah. That's publicity. That but then do it. So you're not wrong about that when you say you're here because mm -hmm. it actually happened. So how you feel about Gully Bop and Chin? That was all stage or you think that was real? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'm allergic to something that is not oxygen. Because mm. oxygen means <laughs> I'm allergic to carbon monoxide. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. Uh -oh. All right. <laughs> We want to thank you so much, Juna and Kelly, for There's coming for Uncensored. It was definitely a pleasure. We had so much fun. Yes. Did us, ladies? We did, yeah. right? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for having me. So, of course, when we come back, Juna Kelly will be performing one of his single off his album, Urban Poet. So, I want you guys to just keep where you have it. We'll be right back. <laughs> Well, I have fun. I just saw that. Black Bobby in the house. Mackenzie. And you know the name again? Shandy. I know you didn't remember it. It's going to be bad teeth, man. But I know you're from the side of the whole time. I'm going to ask should I remember it or not? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Because she, she killed me with it. You know what I'm saying? She killed me with it. Black Bobby in the house, too bad. What's that? Your name is Darren. Shandy. And I get to touch him up more than you.
guys to support, support. Of course, it's called The Urban Poet. Make sure you support Junior Kelly and check him out on his tour dates because you know he's going to Dubai and many other states here in the US. So I want you guys to just keep where you have it. We'll be right back. Jungle Ox up, take it away. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Uncensored. My name is Shandy. You can follow me at Shandy Sweet. I'm Black Barbie. You can follow me at DJ underscore Black Barbie. I'm Michelle. You can follow me at Michelle Chusang. And I'm Mackenzie. Please follow me at the Mackenzie Connection. Thank you, Mackenzie, for filling in for our oh, thank, thank you, you so much. guys. I appreciate it being here. We also want to thank our sponsor, Runway the Salon. Thank you to Junior Kelly who came in and ripped the stage for us and also yes. for Rage. You did a wonderful, wonderful job. Special thanks to Jungle Hawk who also came in and did his thing on the ones and twos. Please keep it locked to next week's episode of Uncensored. 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 One of the biggest songs I, I, I think I've done was Ninja Man's Ninja Man Ninja. Mm -hmm. I think that's that I get mm -hmm. over 10 million views on YouTube. Wow. Can you give us a sample? Just in case people don't know what Ninja you Mana, Ninja Mana, Onda Mena Yama. Ninja Mana, Ninja no Suzuki no Katana. Yeah, so it's that. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. All right. Big song yeah. in Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah. Big song. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,